Here we got 51-4, uh, litter mate there to the one we just had there. And uh, this one here would be a, um, a white, another one of these white claw, loudmouth detox females. Um, we're going to sell a pair of them here, and there's quite a few of those females that we're going to offer here this particular spring. And, um, this one here, I think uh, this one's uh, the, a little bit more of the more extended attractive female of the particular litter. Uh, the one that's probably not the EST's guild of the litter in terms of any one particular area, but a guild that's certainly fundamental and functional in a lot of different areas. Uh, one that's square from behind, square coming at you. She's tall shouldered. Uh, she's she's neat looking. She's certainly got a big ditch down her back that extends all the way up to the right there out coming out of her blade. And uh, one that I think certainly has a good upside when it comes to these junior national shows there this summer. Uh, you know, those early shows and then all the way into I think your July fairs, you'll be very, very good. Um, so you know, this one here's mom would be the 2211 Sal, which was champion at Fort Worth there in 18, would be a litter mate to the champion and reserve at Dixie National there the same year. Uh, that Sal, that 2211 Sal, would be the mother of the reserve at Nail uh, there in 19, and then the grandma to the Copenhaver Gilt, which was grand overall at Team Purebred Junior National there in 19, or in 21. Uh, the Geyer Bear there in the summer of 2021 as well that was reserved in JSA. So awesome pedigree here and another one of these females that we certainly think could work for a lot of different areas. Uh, so like this one here to be you know, a little bit more extended, a little bit uh, taller shouldered one of the of the uh, the pair of these 51 litter females. This is lot 1451.4.